Okay, so we got Dash here into Azalea. This is a pretty aggressive matchup. We're choosing to go second is what we would prefer. That way we're able to throw as much damage as possible. When we're going second, we bring Talishar. When we go first, we bring Plasma Barrel Shot. Our sideboard is just for, you know, fatigue matchups like Guardians, so there's no reason to bring anything else, so we will just send the deck as is. This is a pretty good hand if our opponent just passes and doesn't send an arrow. We're able to boost out everything, and then we're able to swing the Talishar at the end, but assume our opponent's probably going to send something at us, so there's a chance they can just Azalea and dominate on turn one. That could be an argument to go first, but I, I just think that there's enough pressure going second that it's just better to choose it when you have the option. We're going to block out everything except for the rev up. Okay, so hand got a little bit worse. This is a little bit less explosive. Kind of curious if we want to hold on to something here for a larger setup turn, but I think we're just going to go as hard as we can. So we're just going to come right out of the gates. We'll boost. The question is if we want to Arsenal the zipper hit or not. I guess we probably could because we could send the data link and then descend the Talishar. Zipper and Arsenal is like not a good Arsenal target, but it's not like we have a whole lot of other options available to us regardless. So, you know, it could be worse. We're going to put that on the bottom. We're just, we're looking for red threats here. Our blue density is high enough, we probably should find it. And, I don't, oh wait, I just misclick or something? I'm confused. Put it on the bottom, and then we'll send the Talishar. So, kind of decent opening turn. Obviously, we could have dealt more damage. Our opponent's going to keep most of their cards, so there's a good chance we get hit for a lot on the back end, but looks like we should have a pretty good follow-up turn. I mean, this hand's pretty decent. Obviously, we're cool. This is a block with one of the blues and send everything as normal. I mean, Widow, Widowmaker is pretty strong here. Uh, luckily for us, we have a pretty decent mid-range hand, so we're able to block with, you know, two of our cards and still have, like, a pretty decent turn. So probably in our in our favor here to partially block. There's no reason to take, you know, 14. So we'll send our zipper hit. We'll boost it. This means we can also send our blue zipper hit from our arsenal, and then we can still Talishar. So pretty strong turn. We're presenting lethal, actually over lethal by three. So we're getting at least one card, if not, I think two. I think we're getting two from our opponent here. Go ahead and we'll boost it. Achilles, honestly, doesn't have that much use in like this version of the deck. It, it really is like there's just some really niche spots you can use it in. And it's just pretty generic arcane barrier. So it's just mainly because you don't run the, the pistol. Our opponent, unfortunately, has not really got to play much this game, but we did draw into... Well, I would say we drew into a bad hand, but we have cross traps, so it actually doesn't really matter. We're going to have one resource available, so we can at least block like this. We can block four, and then that lets us send uh, 11 with our hand, so we'll break cross trap. We'll send our throttle. We'll boost it, and then we'll get to follow it with the zipper hit. My opponent just scoops it up. Maybe they thought they were dead. Uh, they weren't, but uh, pretty hard to come back from that. We're going to have an outpace in our arsenal, and then we still have Talishar available. So going to be a lot of damage, probably going to be able to close it out from there. So as you can see, dash is very straightforward, super aggressive. You just boost as efficiently as you can and just find the best way to deal 20 damage.